Well, good morning my lovelies and welcome to a very nippy, very overcast, very grey, it's starting to get light, Tuesday morning, I <laughs> hope you're all well. So lovelies, today's video is brought to you today by the Humble Pancake. So yes, today is pancake day, my lovelies, and millions of people up and down the country will be celebrating, sorry, will be celebrating pancake day by making pancakes, attempting to toss them in the frying pan and eating them with lemon and sugar and other yummy treats. However, where does the humble pancake come from? And why are we discussing a Christian festival? Let us delve deeper, my lovelies, into the art of the pancake. So, Pancake Day or Shrove Tuesday is an event held annually to celebrate the coming of Easter. Celebrated by Christians, it is thought that they use this tradition to mark the death and reincarnation of their God. Shrove derived from the word shrive, referring to the confession of our sins as a preparation for Ash Wednesday and Lent, a 40 day period of fasting and abstinence. But where do pancakes come from? And why do we celebrate them? And why, I hear you ask Seals, are you discussing a Christian event? Let us delve deeper. So way before Christianity was even thought of and became a thing, our pagan ancestors celebrated an early form of pancake day. Celebrating the early signs of spring in Imolk, it is thought our pagan ancestors held celebrations. Symbolism is important to our pagan ancestors and it is thought that they made these round hot pancakes to symbolise the coming of the sun and warmer days ahead. And those who ate them were to be energised by the sun as the pancakes represented the shape and the warmth of the sun. Then along came Christianity and just like everything else They used, they took this pagan tradition as their own to make the crossover from paganism to Christianity easier. So while you're tucking into your pancakes today, just remember we have our pagan ancestors to thank for them. So yes, lovelies, Pancake Day, bear with a minute, is not a Christian tradition that marks the coming of spring or the death and the rise of their gods or God um, but a pagan tradition to mark the early onset of spring because I don't know about you while I've been out and about and you know, I walk in the up and down the lanes, I've noticed signs of spring. I mean, like I said the other day, the daffodils are up, the snowdrops are up, the crocus are up. I've also noticed the blackthorns trying to flower as well. We've also had him milk. So yeah, our pagans, somebody somewhere thought, Ooh, Let's make something nice and they found a bit of, I don't know, a bit of egg, a bit of flour and a, some milk and thought, oh let's just throw this in a pan shall we? So they made it and then somebody somewhere along the way went, oh that looks like the sun, oh it's warm like the sun. I 
suppose it came to be that they decided that these flat battery type objects represented the sun and the coming of spring and the warming of the days. This way. Come on, sweetie. from generation to generation. So yeah. So while you're making your pancakes this evening and you're putting lemon and, lemon and sugar and all the tasty little items on top of, just remember where it came from and give thanks to our pagan ancestors for giving us the humble pancake. So my lovelies, we're going to finish our walk off and then I'm going to work. So I hope you all have a very, very blessed Tuesday. Do look after yourselves lovelies and remember if you're struggling, please reach out because there's always somebody there that will help you. Be kind to one another, my lovelies. And if nothing else in this world, please be kind, because you don't know what that other person's going through that stood next to you. And from me and Woo, can we speak, Woo? <coughs> Thank you. Uh, from me and Woo, um, we're sending you all much love and many blessings. Mm -hmm.